In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily add transaction notifications to your DAP with Block Natives Notify.js. So we have a simple DAP here that just sends a transaction. We grab the provider from the window object that MetaMask injects. We instantiate Web3 with that provider. And then we send a transaction when a button is clicked. So we can see that in action here. Send transaction. Confirm it. And now the transaction is sent. But as a user, we don't get any more feedback or status updates on that transaction. So we can change that by adding Block Natives Notify.js. So we install the library. We can go ahead and import the library, import Notify from BNC Notify. Then to initialize Notify, we call the Notify function and we pass it an initialization object. So the first required parameter is a DAP ID. And this is just an API key that you can create at account.blocknative.com. Next up, we need to pass it a network ID, and this is the network that you'll be running transactions on. So I'm just going to set it to four, the Rinkby test network for this demo. So that's all we need to do to initialize Notify. Next up, we need to pass it a transaction hash from the transaction we're sending. That way Notify can track the transaction through the mempool and provide status update notifications. So we can do that by listening for the on transaction hash method. We pass it a callback that will get past the transaction hash. And then we just need to call notify.hash with that hash. And that's all we need to do to get notified generating transaction notifications. So we can see that in action here. We click the send transaction button again. Confirm the transaction. And you can see the notifications in the bottom right corner there. The transactions in the mempool now. And the transaction is confirmed. So that's all you need to do to add transaction notifications to your DAP with Block Natives Notify.js.